Hi there, and welcome to this tutorial on how to get flaming flamenco frets when changing chords. Here is our first chord, C, G, or Do, Sol. What is this? All it is, is a C chord with an added G note to add depth and fullness to the chord. So here we have C, and I added G with the fourth finger. Okay, We get this extra G, Sol, by simply putting that fourth finger on the sixth string. Now why are we using this fourth finger and not the third finger? Okay, The reason for that is because we want to retain the uniformity of the C chord as it's shaped normally, right? So the next chord is G7, Sol. And we get this by placing the third finger on the sixth string along the third fret, finger two on the fifth string along the second fret, finger four along the fourth string along the third fret, and finger one on the first string along the first fret, G7, Sol 7. The third and final chord, F major or Fa major. Place finger three on the fifth string along the third fret, the first finger making a sihia bar chord along all the six strings, okay, on the first fret. Finger two on the third string along the second fret, finger four on the fourth string along the third fret, and you have it, F major. Like always, we want to look for patterns, particularly which uh, finger, if any, stays put between the chord changes. And in the case of the fingering between the chords of C, and F, which one is it? Pay close attention. Did you get it yet? Yeah, you guessed right. It's finger number three. Playing that C note on the third fret of the fifth string. Good job. So this will be our anchor finger when switching between these two chords. Now exercise number one, we simply go back and forth between the chords C, G, and G7. Let's give it a try. Once we've got all that worked out, we go through the following exercise, which you can get in PDF form to print out at patreon.com forward slash flamenco for you where not only you can support us and make these lessons possible, but you can get tons of great resources, which includes monthly guitar checkups with yours truly via Zoom and or Skype. So I hope to see you there. So let's give it a try. Exercise number one. One, two, three. Exercise number two. Now we go back between G7, Sol, Siete, and F major. One, two, three. And did you happen to notice, little bonus, which finger is the anchor finger? Very good. The fourth finger playing the F. Our anchor finger. Good job. Now we put it all together for exercise number three. Here we go. One, two, three. In exercise number four, this time we're doing something different with you're going to strike down with I, M, and A, right? Then follow that up with an upward strike with P, the pulgar. Now instead of a quarter beat, we're going to be using eights. Here we go. One, two, three. Exercise five. Now in this final exercise, we are in the compas of tanguillos. Beat number one is golpe with the A finger, which is followed by an upward strike with the I finger. And then down and up with the I finger. 
and then finishing the phrase with an accented downward strike with M and A. So let's try it out. One, two, three. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And most importantly, don't forget to help our channel out by clicking on the like button. And if you like what you see and want to see more, hit the subscribe.